The Penn Middle Drama Club is wrapping up its musical season. Stay tuned as we follow them through their final rehearsals of the year. And Earth Day is tomorrow. Listen in to learn more about this environmental day. All this and more on today's episode of Wake Up Warriors. Live from Penn Trafford High School. This is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning to you, Penn Trafford, and welcome back to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Friday, April 21st. I'm TJ. And I'm Phelan. Oh, happy Day. Happy Friday, Phelan. <laughs> now, we've seen lots of coverage of our very own Drama Guild this year, but another school in Penn Township will be opening their show tonight. That's right, TJ, and this show is definitely not overrated. Oh, absolutely. That Penn Middle Drama Club's production of Shrek Jr., filled with bright colors and stunning vocals, shines bright on the stage tonight. Reporter Zach Grabowski spoke with the director, choreographer, and the cast to discuss the rehearsal process and why you should attend the show. The Penn Mill Drama Club is performing Shrek Jr. Their opening night is this Friday at 7.30 at the Penn Middle Auditorium. Let's go and see what their rehearsal process is like. Every year when we're choosing shows, we look at the talent that we have, the number of people that we have, what their strengths are, um, and we kind of pick our show to fit our cast. That's kind of how we came into Shrek. So Shrek has a lot of parts. There's a lot of opportunity for students. Shrek is a fun one because there are so many different characters and none of them are real. Um, you know, it's, it's a more of a fantasy fun show. For the choreography, you've got a dichotomy of the fairy tale creatures who get to be individual and their movements should reflect their character. And then you have the Duloc dancers who can't do that. They have to all be exactly alike. I'm confident about the kids and their talent and that they know what they're doing. But when you work in lights, mics, sets, props, costumes, makeup. There's a whole other element that you have to be prepared for because things don't work out how you think they will or you have to change and you have to go back and do things a million times. And a lot of those things are cumbersome. They're not used to, you know, long arms for the dragon or um, crowns and things on their head that could fall off while they're dancing. So that that's a big distraction for them. They're used to just doing it like we do in rehearsals. I think my favorite part of the show is when Shrek and Fiona start falling in love, but I like it because we use different symbols on the set to kind of hint to the audience that that's happening. If you pay attention, you'll start to see things change with the set that make it more bright, more romantic, and so it's kind of like a symbol of them falling in love. You have to love Freak Flag. That's, that's like, I think for me, the theme of the show that everybody needs to just accept themselves for who they are. If you're green, be green and be proud of it. You're gonna be proud of who you are and you will all find your people in the end. We have four shows, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Friday and Saturday, we have shows, we have a show at 7.30. Um, and then on Saturday, we have an additional show at 1 p.m. And then on Sunday, we have a show at 1 p.m. This has been Zach Grabowski reporting for PTTV. <laughs> In other news, tomorrow is Earth Day. Reporter Ella Cohan spoke with one of Penn Trafford's environmental science teachers, Mr. Babick, to find out more about this important holiday. Saturday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. Mr. Babick, one of Penn Trafford's environmental science teachers, teaches students every day about how they can help the Earth. I spoke with him to find out more information about this important day. Hi, I'm Mr. Babick. I'd like to talk to you all about Earth Day. Uh, which is coming up here this weekend and how important the Earth is. And um, Earth Day is a holiday that was created in the 70s. Um, and the idea behind it is that we should celebrate the things on this Earth that make the Earth livable and start to pay attention to the human effect of, uh, on the Earth. And um, so, what we need to think about during Earth Day is the impact that we all have on the Earth. And so when we think about the things that we can do to make our situation better, it should start with each one of us. And every little thing matters. When there's seven or eight billion people on this planet doing something so simple as recycling a plastic bottle or turning off the lights 
or getting um, a ride somewhere in, instead of driving yourself. Little things, when you multiply that times seven billion, add up. And so it's a day that we can reflect on those kind of things. But again, this is something that we can do every day. So every day can be Earth Day. Be sure to celebrate the Earth on Saturday, April 22nd. This has been Ella Cohan reporting for PTTV. Today is the last day that tickets for prom are on sale. To purchase a ticket, you must first register using the Google form that you can be accessed by on the PT Prom website. After registering, you must pay for and pick up your tickets in the cafeteria during your lunch. You can pay by cash or check made payable to Penn Trafford High School. You must first be off the restricted list to buy tickets and remain off the list to attend prom. Please have one person from your group complete the Google form regardless of the size of your group. Maximum seating per table is 8 and smaller groups will be combined to fill a table. Reserve seating forms are due no later than today. Now let's send it over to Ryer Wilkes for the Sports Rundown. Good morning, Ryer. What do you have for us? The class team played last night in the section game against Greensburg-Salem High School. The girls started strong with an 11-point first half. Greensburg-Salem made a second-half comeback, but it was not enough. The girls took home the victory 12-7. After the game, reporter Aiden Polo caught up with some of the players to see their thoughts on the game. We had a lot of good offense. Um, we did really good. The defense pulled through. Not many goals in the first half. Um, we won 12-7. to 7. We got a lot of our JV in there. We had a lot of good looks, and this keeps us ready for tomorrow's game. And tomorrow is another big section game at Indiana, so this win tonight gives us some motivation to play good for tomorrow. The boys' volleyball team traveled all the way to Greater La Trobe High School. They took a dominant win over the Wildcats. We caught up with senior Dara Ter Daniel Terabrella after the game. We came out here, and first set we lost. We uh, weren't communicating that great. We weren't blocking that good, but the next three games we were really communicating. We were really blocking, and we came together as a team. It was a great team win. At the beginning, our communication and our hustle was not the best, but towards the end, we started to really come together. We started to communicate. We started to make plays, so it was nice. Our next match is Peters Township. It's a non-section game, but they're a really, really good team, so we needed this game so we could get ready for Peters. Yesterday, Penn Trafford baseball played wrinkled. Evan Nelson Norton earned the win. Between five strong innings, allowed three hits and striking out five. Chuck Fontana had two hits, <laughs> two RBI singles to pull the Warriors even, <laughs> even in the second inning. Tyler Freese also had two hits in a stolen base. Brandon Stone and Dylan Grabowski both made great defensive plays for serving the win for the non-section win. Great job, boys. Dining in sports, the tennis team travels to Thomas Jefferson to battle the Jaguars at 2. The softball team travels to Armstrong to take on the Riverhawks at 345. The boys lacrosse team hosts Knock at Warriors Stadium at 7. The girls lacrosse team travels to Indiana for a 7.30 matchup against the Indians. Good luck to our Warriors tonight. That's all I have for sports today. Now let us send it back to TJ and Phelan at the desk. Thanks, Ryer. Now before we close, we'd like to wish a good luck to robotic students Carl Heller, Joe Turkovich, AJ Aquino, and Noah Maffa, who will be heading to Dallas, Texas for the VEX Robotics World Competition next week. That's all for today's show. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the pledge of the flag. I'm TJ. And I'm Phelan. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day PT. PT.